Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 2. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Alright, so we are here now for the three-cylinder shootout. We're obviously taking a three-cylinder engine car, hence why, again, I picked the Citroen C1. Uh, we're going to be starting with Iberian International Circuit, the Sunset Peninsula, the Top Gear Test Track. I love the fact that that's in this game. Camino Vio de Montserrat, and then finishing off with Silverstone National Circuit. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Iberian International. Vroom. And we're off. So this car is now a lot lighter. Um, I've actually added a weight reduction upgrade. It only added six performance index. So, barely anything. But this definitely feels a lot more nippy. The only problem is, the car up in front uh, also seems to be a little quicker. So... What a pass. We've got three out of four for that turn. Lovely jubbly. Can you rise? I don't want to miss I've overdone it. Alright, not bad. We've also leveled up. So we got ourselves a little bit of a car. We got ourselves 12% of a car. <laughs> Here we go. So this is a classic sport coupe. Uh, and obviously, I'm going to be picking the 2000 GTR. Without question of a doubt. What a beautiful car this is. And especially in red, chef's kiss. All right, here we go. It's time to work it. This is what we are. Beep, beep. 
you motherfucker coming through. so tired honestly it's been such a long day I've done so much stuff it's crazy busy I still can't believe they used this song in John Wick 4. Yo, Heinz, what up? What do you need help with? Should I sleep or should I sleep? Uh, you should watch my stream. Also, I'm confused. Why? Heinz, did you set it so that your car came up with hearts and stars? Because I don't remember setting that up. I don't know why your name comes up with hearts and stars. I'm confused. The little stream avatar down there. It's your one, but it's got hearts and stars, and I'm confused why it does it. I might have to reset everyone's uh, things. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The stream avatars, you see at the bottom of the screen? All the cars and everything. Alright, here we go. Vroom vroom. Ah! I was trying to pull the cable out of my fan. Oh, everything's going wrong. I pressed start recording. The f cable's gotten stuck in my fan. I've got something stuck in my eye. I feel like I need to sneeze. And my stream avatars aren't working. Everything's broken from the last thingy to this one. It's so cool being on the Top Gear test track now, though. The fact that they actually have the Top Gear test track in this game is so cool. But I'm going to be really upset when they... Because, obviously, they had all the kickoff in 2015. After Motorsport 6 came out.
be do be do do be do. Nice. It's really shocking how these uh, corners actually turn out sometimes. One thing that I have just noticed, the rotation of the minimap is very strange in this game. It's done based off of where you are on the track. So as you're turning into a corner, it looks strange. Especially for something with this wide a track, it looks really odd. Oh, we go. That was a good race, though. I'll take it. And we're actually level four as well. So we can take all these rewards. So, ah, I press the home button. So we get a choice of vehicle. Either the Ibiza Cupra, the Twingo Renault Sport Cup, the Mito, the DS3, or the Colt Rally Art. I'm going to take the Colt because I like the look of the Colt. Because it looks like an Evo. So, I'm going for the Colt. No one can stop me. Because I've made this choice. I'm going for the white one as well. Alright, here we go. Camino Vio de Montserrat. Lovely return. But this is actually the last game that has Camino Vio de Montserrat in. Oh, that C1's getting a bit aggressive on the inside of the other C1. Whoa. This is such a beautiful track. I think they did a massive job. Like a phenomenal job at actually improving uh, how the lighting looks in this game. Because it... Oh, it looks good. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. Lovely. One more lap. One more lap to go. Philosophy. Relax. Take your time. Hey, hey, hey.
Jesus Christ. This game looks so good. Like, compared to Motorsport 3, there's a huge improvement in this game. Alright, here we go. I believe this is the last race of this championship. Oi! Can't be crashing into each other. Terrible corner according to the game though. Thirty seconds later and barely at turn two. Formula one, this would have been like not even ten seconds. And surprising though, because this ain't a Formula One car. Yeah, I know. We've got one more lap. No more pain. I don't. I'll be on my way to heaven's door. I love a good bit of chasing status. That new one that they've got with Becky Hill is amazing. Nice. I'll take that. Does this not have... This doesn't have end of event rewards, no. It just gives you loads of rewards. In general. Makes sense. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.